Hello and welcome to this short micro learning video about how to format text content in an announcement. The skills that you will learn in this video apply to any text based content placed within my study. So that's in an item or a content folder. Right. So in order to do all the things that we're going to do in this tutorial, you do need to make sure that you have the three dots button pressed so that you can see or three rows of formatting tools in the text editor. I have pasted in some content ready to go about a watch party session, which I'm going to run with my students. And I pasted this in safely using the source code button, which ripped out the sort of word formatting that might cause a problem for students viewing this content. But you can see that it's quite hard to read this content because it's all one big block and we need to add some formatting to make it easier to locate the key information. So how do we do that? What might seem like the obvious thing to do is to select something like this heading that says how it works and make it bold. Well, that does work on a certain level, but the downside of that is that the font size is the same size, so the text is the same size. And also, if someone were using a screen reader to help read the written content on the screen, it wouldn't delineate between bold and normal text. So from their perspective, this would read like one big block of text with no uh, punctuation, no delineation between the different sections. Um, we can make it even better by adding in some heading based structure. So I'm going to show you how to do that. So I am going to actually unbold this and instead I'm going to select it and go to the paragraph button and I'm going to make this a heading. So already just by virtue of the, making it a heading, it's going to have better spacing and it's going to uh, be a section on the page which could be navigated to using a screen reader. Now, uh, this next bit, if you have questions, is a subsection of this how it works section. So for that, I'm going to use the paragraph button again and I'm going to make it a subheading level one. So that's that's good. That's got the please contact Fiona if you need help. Um, the next section is the schedule for the watch party. So what I want to do is that again is a subsection of how it works. It shouldn't be a fresh section, it is a subsection. So I am going to make that again subheading one. So the key point with these headings is that you must only ever move up or down one level. So we couldn't then, um, so for example, if I made this subheading two, let's say, then for the next section, I can't then jump back up to this heading level because that would skip a level. So again, just be mindful of where you're at in your levels. You can always check by highlighting the text and it will tell you which level it is. So subheading one is the right level for this because it is a subsection of how it works. Now this next bit down here is actually the title of my first watch section of videos. So that is its own thing. So this should be a heading. So again, we're just going up one level in this case. And again, I've got the same deal down here. So that is again a heading because it's its own section. So I know that the spacing looks a bit funny here, but trust me, actually, when we save this, it's going to look pretty good. But there are a couple more things I can do to make this even more legible and readable. So first of all, I think that my little watch lists here with the lists of videos would be better if they were numbered. So I highlight all of those and then I can go up to numbers and I can make that a numbered list. So that already looks really good, much better than it did. And I'll do the same with the other ones. So I'm highlighting it and I'm making this a numbered list. So that is a lot easier to read, I think. The other thing I want to do is make the schedule bullet points. I think that would make it easier to read. So I'm going to highlight my schedule. I'm going to go up to the options and actually instead of circular bullet points, I think I'd quite like square ones. So I'm going to pick the square option, which is under the arrow on the right. 
and I think one more thing I could do is make the times bold so I can highlight the time and press the B option up here to make that bold or if I were on a Mac I could press command B or on a PC as I am it's control B to quickly make things bold so you just select the text press control B I'm going to select the text here press control B so that is already much easier to read I think so let's go ahead and submit this I'm not going to send it as an email announcement just yet I just want to check it's okay ah yeah that looks really really good really clear and much easier to read 